Hi, I'm Erin. Every bite of food that ends up on your table has a story behind it. A majority of the time, the consumer never has the opportunity to hear that tale. Today, follow the journey of one loaf of bread from our kitchen into our customers' hands on Our Wyoming Life. <laughs> It's almost Thanksgiving, and it's time for our first winter market. We now have a new opportunity to sell our products year round. We also have an opportunity to change some of the things that we are producing to fit the seasons. Apple praline bread screams fall and Thanksgiving, and it looks divine. This is a new recipe, something that we have never made and sold before. The journey of this bread started two months ago in Cincinnati. Odd, right? Back in September, Mike traveled to Cincinnati to a YouTube creators conference. While he was there, he met Kristen from Six Sister Stuff. You might have heard about Six Sister Stuff. They are dominating the cooking world. They have cookbooks, blogs, a huge Facebook following, and an incredible YouTube channel. As everyone got to know about each other and each other's channels, Mike and Kristen talked about how baking is part of what we do that we haven't had the time to show our audience yet. An idea was born to take a recipe from Texas to Cincinnati to Wyoming to our customers' plates. Once Mike told me about this idea, I was thrilled. I immediately dove into their YouTube channel and I started watching all of their videos. Once I binged myself on YouTube, I immersed myself in their blog and I found the holy grail that I was looking for, apple praline bread. When I saw this, I knew that it was a must bake for me. Kristen and I started chatting through email and sharing our baking stories. Now market day is almost here and it's time to bake. We start the baking by preparing the apples. Several different varieties, some sweet and some tart, are peeled and finely chopped. The recipe is being doubled, so three cups are needed. Next, all the dry ingredients are measured and sifted into a bowl. Wet ingredients are then added to a mixer Sour cream, eggs, sugar, and vanilla are mixed on low speed until they are thoroughly blended. Dry ingredients are added in slowly. Once everything is incorporated, it's time to fold in the apples. Chopped pecans also get folded into the batter. Mini one pound loaves are used for market. An ice cream scoop makes scooping the batter easy and helps keep the bread loaves consistent in size. Once all the batter is scooped, there are nine mini loaves. More chopped pecans are sprinkled on top and lightly pressed into the batter. Everything is now ready for the oven. The oven has been turned on and preheated. Baking for market is always done on the convection setting. It helps the multiple loaves on multiple racks bake evenly. Once the loaves look golden brown and delicious, a toothpick is used to test for doneness. It comes out clean and the bread is ready to come out of the oven. It's placed on a cooling rack while it will rest for about 15 minutes and then removed from the pan to cool completely. Later that evening, after all the baking is done and dinner has been eaten, it's time to make the glaze. It's simple. Brown sugar and butter is all that's needed. It's warmed in a saucepan until it boils for one minute. Make sure to stir constantly until the mixture is thick and delicious. Clear clamshells are used for packaging the bread. This will contain the glaze that runs down the side and avoid any sticky, hard to unwrap packaging for market. With the loaves and the clamshells, the glaze can be placed on top of the bread. It looks amazing, and the glaze tastes amazing. Our customers are going to love this. After all of our baked goods are packaged, everything can be placed in a large tote and is ready for transport to market. The next day at market, everything gets hauled in and placed on our tables, and we are ready to sell our products to customers. The apple praline bread was quick to sell, and before we even left market, we received an amazing review on Facebook. It's always nice to hear that our customers will want to purchase the item again. Apple praline bread might just become a staple of our market baking rotation. Find the full recipe in the description below. Every bite of food you take has a personal connection behind it. Someone made it or grew the ingredients. I'm so glad that Mike and Kristen met in Cincinnati and that we get to bring six sisters to Wyoming. The apple praline bread is amazing. And there is so many more of the recipes that I wanna try this winter. Not just for farmer's market, but for dinner or breakfast for my own family. I love watching all of the sisters on YouTube and getting to know their personalities. And I truly feel like part of their family. 
Food is life, and it's amazing to share that with people. From the farmer, to the baker, to the cook, to the recipe writer, there's always an amazing story behind each step. Make sure you find Six Sisters right here on YouTube and get to know their family and their story. I guarantee that you will find something easy and delicious to make along the way. Look below in the description for more links on how to find Six Sisters and all of their products. Thanks for joining me in our Wyoming life.